Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? Well, I shouldn't say that because I just, I just got up. Yeah, it's about eight twenty-six in the morning here where I live in the United States. So it's basically pretty early for me. I'm just trying to uh, monitor my uh, audio through YouTube on this computer over here because I remember last time when I was editing the last live broadcast um, I had some audio cutouts, and while I was talking, you could see my mouth moving, but you couldn't, uh, hear me. So, when the sound came back on, on the live feed, um, you couldn't, you weren't, it wasn't processing my, uh, my conversation I was t telling, or the story. So, um, if anyone's on YouTube, if you're watching me on YouTube, uh, leave me a comment and I'll receive it live. Uh, if anyone's uh, in chat, you can come and chat with me. Uh, well, since it's morning time, I'm having myself a cup of coffee. Um... Uh, it's regular Folgers cup of coffee, actually. And I'm using my, um, Baltimore Aquarium. See, National Aquarium. Uh, let's see. Baltimore. Or, let me, let me double check. Yep. National Aquarium in Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland. That's about a uh, couple hour ride down south of me. I have to say it's about a three hour uh, ride down to Baltimore. Because if you look at a map, um, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But speaking of coffee, um, speaking of coffee, uh, I, I, I work in a bowl, I used to work in a bowling alley, then I found a better job. So we used to make, uh, coffee. Uh, like, we have a coffee stand right there next to the counter. So, uh, we, my boss charged, uh, 50 cents for a cup of coffee. Uh, we had regular Folgers cup of coffee, which I'm drinking now. Um, so, I know how to make coffee because I make myself coffee. And when I'm at my grandparents' house, I make them coffee because they're coffee drinkers as well. Uh, here in this household, um, my parents hate coffee, and so does my sister. So, well, they don't like the taste of coffee. Uh, I drink mine just with milk, or I need creamer in mine. Otherwise, uh, the coffee's too bitter for me. Um, so... With just plain old milk and creamer, it actually gives it like gets the bitterness away, so I can actually taste the flavor of the coffee. Um, and uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, back to my story. So when I'm working at the bowling alley, um, I'll make coffee because I need a cup of coffee. Like, when I worked there, 
I probably like had like twenty cups a day when I worked at the bowling alley. That's a lot of coffee. Um, but employees got free free cup of coffee, so uh, a lot of free coffee for me. Uh, so when I made the coffee, um, I put the put the grounds in the uh, filter holder. I mean, put the filter in the filter holder. Then I'll um, scoop the uh, grounds from the can into the uh, into the filter. And then every time it brewed, um, I put enough in to give it the flavor that I like. So. When other people, uh, yeah, when other people would drink the coffee, they'll go, "What the hell? This 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 coffee is too darn strong." And I'm drinking the coffee like I am now, like this. I go, "It's not that strong. It's the way that um, Wawa makes coffee. It's the way." Everyone else makes coffee, not too strong, and uh, not too light. And everyone else is complaining, I make it way too strong. Nope. Maybe for the regular persons, maybe a tad bit too strong, but I think the coffee I make is average. My grandparents don't have a uh, problem with it. Uh, no one... No one else, none of my friends have a problem with it. So, that's the story of um, people complaining that my coffee's too strong. <laughs> Just was in the, was it was in the employees that were complaining, basically, that I made it too strong. Yeah, that like uh, they'll say, Ben, you make your coffee way too strong. Customers that had to pay fifty cents, they they said they gave my coffee an A plus. Hmm. So that's basically it for uh, my coffee story for today. Um, yeah, like I said, if anyone, uh, wants to join in on the, uh, anyone wants to talk to me, if you see, if you're watching me live on YouTube, um, you could comment there, and we could have a back and forth conversation going. If you're, um, on Google+, Plus, you could join the chat, and I'll accept you, and we could both talk live. On YouTube. <laughs> so it's eight thirty five here in Pens um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um it's probably nine thirty five somewhere else in the world. And and, um, that's cool. Bet people are having a pretty damn good night. Just sitting back and relaxing. My day is just starting. Yep, my day is just starting. Um, I'm charging up my, um, don't know if you can see it. Let's see. I'm charging up my Mophie. That's what this case is called. Mophie. It's fully charged and on the iPhone fully charged as well. Yep, so how long does Mophie um, last me um, per charge? Well, when the battery gets down to uh, 50%, that's when I turn it on. 
um, to charge it. Guys, I heard if you do a full charge, it will last you two times. Uh, like, like uh, it'll last me two full charge, basically. But if I charge it at 50, when the phone gets down to 50%, and I ch start charging it, it actually lasts me a pretty damn good long time. So, I like my Mophie. Um, Mophie costs about a hundred bucks. Um, go to your local uh, wireless carrier. They should have Mophie. I got the a hundred dollar one. So, the hundred dollar one actually lasts lo a lot longer. I don't know how much the cheap version is. The cheap version probably lasts at like half a charge. The guy was explaining to me. But, I love my new iPhone. Does it have Siri? No, because my grandma actually gave me her old iPhone. So, she has the one with Siri. I don't. But, you know what? I don't care about Siri. All I care about is accessing my email, accessing Facebook, and making YouTube videos. That's all I care about. And using the uh, QR code reader to find out the prices of things. If they don't have a price tag. Speaking of which, I'm going to set a timer. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's showing me my, um, the times, the two times on the phone. I don't know if you guys could see it or not. New York, it's 8.30 eight. In Tokyo, Japan, it's 9, 9.30 eight. That's pretty cool. So, good evening, Japan. How are you guys doing tonight? And how is your day today? How is your day that you guys had? But anyway, let's go to the timer and start the timer. I'm going to end the broadcast in uh, five minutes. So, in five minutes, if I don't get anybody to chat with me, um, yeah, if I don't get anyone to chat with me on YouTube or Google+, Plus, I'm going to end the video blog here. So, basically... Well, I'm going to rename the um, video when I, when I end the broadcast. Is I'm going to name it, uh, rename it, um, a blog, a story, coffee time, you know. Um, I'm thinking of a good title to rename this video after I, I am done broadcasting. Talking about my a story about me making. I need a short. Uh, that's the tough part. Making making titles, naming the video. Um. Afterwards. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Making uh, a story of making coffee at work. Yeah. Making coffee at work. Yeah. Because um, I talked to 
I told you the story about when I worked at the bowling alley, uh, how everyone, all the employees complained I made coffee too strong. And hmm, coffee ball, coffee ball, because I was talking about coffee most of the time. Um, and another thing, um, there are people out there uh, who like really, really, really strong coffee. Me, I do not like really, really, really strong coffee because uh, really, really strong coffee is too bitter. I don't like the bitterness taste of coffee because the bitterness takes away from the flavor of what it has. That's why I like Folgers cup of coffee. That's why I like McDonald's um, on the East Coast, Northeast of the United States. We have a uh, convenience store called Wawa. I like Wawa coffee. Uh, and I like Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Because they're not that strong. Um, you could just, like, they're not strong at all. Well, it depends on how you make, how you, uh, make the coffee out of Wawa. But, starting with McDonald's, um, like, they make their coffee normal. I don't know what brand of coffee that they use, but their coffee's good for McDonald's. Um, like, if I were just to drink, drink it black, um, it will be too bitter for me. So I have to have creamer in it to actually take the bitterness of the coffee away for McDonald's. So, so adding milk to take the, uh, bitterness away actually gives the makes takes away from the strongness and brings out the flavor of what the coffee has so that's why I like to put milk in all my coffee no sugar just milk or creamer because because um, just adding that takes the bitterness away and brings out the flavor of the coffee. So any anyone offers me strong a uh, like a bold blend of coffee grounds or whatnot, I have to decline because uh, if it's bold, like bold, <laughs> uh, I know that putting creamer or milk into it uh, will not. Um, yeah, but creamer or uh, milk in it will not take away from the bitterness of the coffee. I tried that before. <laughs> um, like I had someone gave me a a good good coffee brand. I forget, but um, that thing was that coffee was bold. I had to I filled the cup up to here. Well, right there with the regular coffee. Then I had filled the rest up with uh, milk. But trying to balance it out, if it's that bold, uh, trying to uh, uh, balance it out, like cough, coffee-wise, like right here, um, it will be too strong if I filled it up. Well here then the rest milk it'll be too strong so I always had to fill it up to there with coffee then the rest milk to actually uh, balance out the flavorness to get the flavor to come out too much milk um, you'll taste more of the milk too little milk too bitter So as the average Joe would say, 
I'm not a manly man when it comes to coffee. I like my coffee mild. I guess that's what you would call it, is mild instead of uh, in the middle. Yeah, I guess you'd call it mild. I like my coffee mild. Um... One last thing before I end the live broadcast. Um, when I was working at um, the bowling alley where I used to work before I got this better job that I have now, um, this guy who I work with, his name is Corky. If you, you know what, I want to go in there one day and just videotape Corky, and you'll know what I mean. Because that's his name, and we uh, call him Quirky. Uh, I'm going to see if I can videotape him for you, and give you guys a show. And, uh, you guys can think, you guys could, uh, say, is he Quirky or is, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll call him Quirky as well. So, Quirky likes the Maxwell, Maxwell House brand of coffee. I don't. Um, he got the um, he got the medium version of the roast, like medium roast, I guess. That's like in between uh, light and uh, straw. So he go he brews makes the coffee go. I go like this, just trying the coffee. Uh, I go, you're saying that you made this coffee? It tastes like water. It tastes like water. I can't taste a coffee worth crap, I tell him. So, I go, alright, let me have a go at, go at it. So, I fill the grounds up as much as I could without making it too strong. But, I did, with Folgers... I do about eight, eight to nine scoops because it's for the whole facility, basically. Well, 12 lanes, so... Yeah, eight to nine cup, uh, eight to nine uh, spoons. So I did 15 scoops with the Maxwell House. I put it in, brew it, then I go, then when it's done, I try it. I go, I go, what the hell? It's still weak. Um, and then he tries, goes, he, Quirk goes, uh, what do you mean this is weak? This is strong enough to put hair on my ass. That's what he said. Well, he goes, uh, I'll, I'll just say it. Uh, he goes, uh, this is strong enough to put hair on the tip of my penis. So, that's what he said. So then I go, you know what, I'm going to do some experiments at, at home. I'm going to go go to the store and buy the strongest brand, Maxwell House, and give it a try. So I did. Maxwell House is just generally weak. No flavor tastes like, just tastes like plain old water. <laughs> plain old water with milk in it. Maxwell House. So, so that's basically it for my story with coffee. I'm actually in over time on the live broadcast. So, I'm going to end the live broadcast here. Then I'm going to do some editing, take the replaced version down and re do some editing and I'll re-upload it. Yeah, I'll re-upload it and you guys can enjoy. Um... So, yeah, basically, Maxwell House in general sucks. Best brand of all 
is Folgers Cup of Coffee. So, um, I've been monitor monitoring my uh, video feed on uh, YouTube on my PC computer right over here. Yeah, I'm using my Mac for the uh, broadcast. I'm watching, well, I'm watching and I'm monitoring my video feed on here because I know last time I had some audio problems. So, as of right now, everything seems like it's good to go. Um, so, so far right now, I've got no viewers on YouTube, no, com no live comments, and on the Hangout, I got no viewers and no one wanting to join the chat, but like I said in my last, my uh, last two live videos, if you guys want to hang out with me on the Google Plus Hangout or hang out with me on a live broadcast on YouTube, just let me know. And I'll pick a day and the, t the day and the time, or you guys could pick a day and the time uh, you want me to come on live, and we can have a chat going on on YouTube. That's if you don't want to be on camera, you can have a chat going on in the uh, comment section. Um, and uh, if you want to be on camera, I'll invite you or I'll accept your request to join the live hangout. And we could have a conversation live here on YouTube. As of right now, this is going to be my last live broadcast until someone asks, yeah, actually asks me to uh, hang out with them on the Google Plus, or until someone specifically asks me to go live with them on YouTube. Well, asks me to start the live broadcast on YouTube. So. Until the next time I go live, I'll see you guys next time. Until the next time I go live. But I'm still going to be seeing you guys on my regular uh, videos. On my regular pre-recorded videos. <laughs> so, this will, this will do it for my last live broadcast. So what I'm going to do like I did with my last two is I'm going to take the video down, do some video editing with it, then repost it back up. I'm just going to add my, just add a couple of things and voila. Well, and that's about do that's gonna do it for me tonight. Well, what the hell? That's gonna do it for me for this morning. It's going on nine o'clock in the morning and I got things to do today. Alright. I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye for now and I'll see you next time. I want to go I'll see you guys next time in the next live video I do. Which will probably be when someone requests for me to go live. Alright. But my next regular uh, upload will be Sunday night my time. Probably Monday morning somewhere, somewhere else in the world. Alright. So this was um, blogging about coffee this morning. <laughs> Alright. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye for now. And I'll see you guys in my regular uh, videos. So this is my final live broadcast. So I'll catch you guys 
later. Bye-bye for now.